What's up guys, it's Chase, and today I wanted to make a quick video briefly going over what you can do with Super Sea Snails in Splatoon 3. Depending on what team you picked for the Splatfest, and how much you played, you'll earn a certain number of Sea Snails. The game doesn't really do a great job of explaining what these are or what they do, so that's why I'm here. So when the Splatfest ends today at 5pm Pacific Time, you'll know exactly what to do. While sea snails have a couple of different uses, they all basically revolve around one thing, gear. Sea snails are a form of currency that makes designing gear builds and grinding chunks a much easier process, and as of right now, the only way to earn them is by participating in Splatfests. Let's do a quick rundown on what you can use them for. So in order to actually use your sea snails, you're gonna have to go over to this guy, Merch. If you ever wanna do anything related to gear, he's your guy. The first option I'm going to talk about, which is the one that more players are probably familiar with, is reroll slots. What this does is let you reroll the slots on your already maxed out pieces of gear. So if you have a piece of gear with 3 filled slots, you can reroll it. Now if you're aware of how brands work in this game and how certain ones are more likely to roll certain abilities, that's totally in play here. Now if what I just said there doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry, because I got a video coming out on Monday that explains exactly that. But one super important thing to know about rerolling your gear is that you get to save the ability chunks that get replaced by the reroll. So if you have a good amount of sea snails, this is a great way to grind chunks. And you can even get greater odds of grinding a specific type of chunk by rerolling a brand that's likely to roll the ability you want. Okay, so that's the first thing you can do with sea snails. You could already do that in Splatoon 2, so nothing new there. But now there's a new option, which is increase star power. This lets you do a few things. First, you can add slots to gear that don't already have 3 slots. It'll cost you 1 sea snail for every new slot you add. But it doesn't stop there. Alright, now listen closely because this is going to get a bit confusing. If a piece of gear has 3 slots available, the game considers it to have a star power of 2, as you can see here. However, with sea snails, you can increase that star power further. A new feature in Splatoon 3 is that even if your 3 gear slots are already filled, you can still level up the gear and keep earning ability chunks. If you increase the star power on a piece of gear, it'll basically speed up the level process for it. But I'm just going to tell you right now. At the time of posting this video, using sea snails to increase star power is not worth it. Why? Well apparently, it requires an insane amount of sea snails to increase star power on a single piece of gear. In fact, thanks to Lean Yoshi on Twitter, we have the exact numbers right here. To go from a star level of 2 to 3, it costs you 5 snails. 3 to 4, 10 snails. 4 to 5, a whopping 20 sea snails. And for reference, the maximum amount of sea snails you can earn from a single Splatfest is 24. So if you actually spend snails to get a piece of gear to the maximum star level of 5, you're basically blowing everything you earn from the Splatfest. There are two other reasons why this process isn't worth it. One, there's actually another way to increase star power that doesn't require any sea snails. If you go into one of your shops and see a piece of gear for sale that you already own, it will give you the option to increase its star power there, for money. Now, yes, getting 5 stars this way is still super expensive, but in my opinion, it's way better than just blowing all of your snails on one piece of gear. The other reason why increasing star power beyond 2 isn't really worth it is because it doesn't even make that much of a difference. 3 star gear will let you earn chunks on it 3% faster, 4 star is 6% faster, and 5 star is 10% faster. That's really not that much of a difference, and it's certainly not worth the amount of snails that it costs. So here's my final conclusion with all of this. Use your sea snails to increase the star power on gear that doesn't already have 3 slots, and also use them to reroll gear and grind chunks. But do not use sea snails to increase star power on gear that already has 3 slots. In fact, due to how abysmal the increase is, I don't think increasing the star power is worth it at all. You should only consider doing it if you are absolutely committed to a certain piece of gear that you know you're going to use forever. Otherwise, just wait until the gear appears in the shop so you can use money to do it. Or just don't do it at all. Do note that special gear, such as gear you earn from hero mode or gear that you can obtain from amiibos, won't appear in the shops. So if you want to increase star power on those, 
you will unfortunately need to use your snails. All right, guys, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.